All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is you too, it's Pastor Dow. Answering questions. Think about this for a second. Yeah, I'm a pastor, and so on a daily basis, um, I receive what I, what I believe to be an extraordinary amount of questions. And everybody wants answers for their questions. I want to talk to us here this morning. I really, truly do. I want us to think for a moment, okay? If that's one thing that I really, truly press more than anything, because I, I continually speak on the condition of the heart, meaning the mind of the people. Have you ever asked questions of someone and you still have not received the answer that you either anticipated or expected to receive because you had a preconceived ideal or you had some notion working inside of you what you had already believed the answer to be. And even though you received an answer, you could not accept the answer because it did not agree with your book of the law. It does not mean that the answer to the question that you received was not truthful. It's just that you have not done uh, your due diligence, you have not done any investigation whatsoever at all because when you ask the question, lays behind that question was what you wanted to hear. And when you didn't hear what you wanted to hear, you still couldn't receive the answer. Am I making any sense? Because we do this all the time. Uh, for instance, when we tell a story, um, we want to try to slant the story to our favor so that those who are hearing, because everybody doesn't exercise the art of hearing, so that those who are hearing, they would either answer in our favor, see things the way we see it, or judge in our favor. And most people, I'm telling you, they just simply do not exercise enough self-autonomy that when they're listening to someone, be it friend, enemy, it makes no difference. Colleague, constituent, uh, acquaintance, it makes no difference. Um, most people, whenever their soul ties already develop, and when you are alone or, or if you're with someone and, and, and you're speaking in each other's ears and stuff and transferring information, <clears throat> we usually have our guard down um, and, and we're not... Uh, as keen as we should be. We're not really truly carefully listening um, to the person sitting in front of us. But I've learned over the years that just because somebody asks a question does not mean that they're going to receive the answer that they expected, even though it's truthful. I mean, I get it all the time. You know, as a pastor, I, I, I Christians here my YouTube videos. And the first thing they do is they get angry, they get upset, they get inflamed, they get enraged, they get excited. And then they'll start sending me um, hate mail. Uh, they'll start calling me all kind of names. Mind you, they're Christians now. Uh, and then after they calm down, this is the second way, after they calm down, um, then they start to ask me a question intelligently because even though they're mad and angry upset, they decided to go back and, and, and listen to what I said and found out, and wait a minute, after they've done their due diligence, they checked it out, they found out, wait a minute, this man is telling the truth here. But it's hard for them to accept it because their minds have already been shaped, it's already been formed by some previous thought or perspective, viewpoint, point of view, or idea. Um, and of course, that come because this system of this world was already in place before you and I came in out of our mother's womb. And whatever country, whatever system we found ourselves birth or born in, that's what we learned after. So we automatically assume that that system is the truth. So I get an extraordinary amount of questions on a daily basis. And, and I've learned a long, long time ago, just because I answer people questions does not mean that I have actually answered them even though I know I've truthfully answered them. But the truth is not the truth until you accept it. And even then, it's still grim and dim if you're going to advance your life submitting to the truth and obeying it. Because 
People ask questions, inquiring minds want to know, but they're not going to do anything about the information given in front, given to them. Only a very few people really, truly are after the truth. Very few people pursue the truth with the intention of wanting to know, and whatever that truth says, they will conform to it and do it. Uh, most people ask questions to be contentious. Um, I said to a man some time ago, he asked me a question, and I gave him an answer. And the answer I gave him is what he wanted to hear. And he was happy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I knew it. Then I turned around and said to him, but did I tell you the truth? And he stopped for a second, kind of reared back a little bit. I said, no, think for a moment. You asked me a question. I gave you an answer. But when you ask me that question, you ask it in such a way that you were looking for a certain answer. And I gave you the answer you were looking for. Now, I did not let us leave this environment right here believing that you are right or I were right in my answer. But I want you to think, and I used this for a thinking um, tool. I really, truly did. Because I gave him the answer that he wanted to hear. And then I turn around and, and ask him, did I give you the truth, the right answer? After he got finished coming down from cloud three, you understand what I mean? And instead of really, truly thinking things out, he got more angry and more upset at me. I said, wait a minute. You should be happy. I gave you the answer you were looking for, but the bottom line, I did not give you the truthful answer. What I'm trying to teach you is, is this, sir, is just because I give you an answer to a question does not mean that I gave you the truth. Now, most people are not going to do like Pastor Dow does, that I'm going to stop you in the middle of all this and tell you, um, look, listen to me very closely. Um, I'm trying to help you to think. I'm trying to help you to understand. I, I was birthed in the same system that you have, but I choose on a daily basis to exercise self-autonomy. I choose that. Do you understand? Because I understand I've been deceived. Um, I've been deceived a lot. Um, and I don't like being deceived because I, I hate the pain that I feel once I discover the truth. And I love the truth. Um, but, to you know, I gave myself more credit than that. I thought I was a little bit more intelligent only come to find out that I was really ignorant. But um, I told him, I said, just because I answer things the way that you want it does not mean that you've received the truth. How many times has it happened in the world? Because you have people who call yourself your friends or your family, your colleagues, your constituents, your acquaintances or whatever, that people talk to you because they're fond of you. They give you answers you love hearing and stuff. And you assume you've got the truth. Are you really, truly sure of that? Are you really, truly sure of that? Because the truth is, Unless you have the spirit of truth, you're not going to conform to the image of it because we're all too busy trying to be gods. We're all too, too busy trying to shape and form the creator universe and this world after what we call our, our, our book of the law and our truth. And it's a sad situation because that is one of the ultimate deceptions that there is. I know that a lot of people don't talk about a lot of things that I do. Um, and and, and I, I bless the Father for giving me the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to, to do this. But let me end on this. Just because you ask a question does not mean that you have actually received the answer that you are looking for. No, now you may have anticipated a certain end, or you may have anticipated a certain answer because when you asked the question, you had already had it laced with deception. You had a preconceived ideal and notion that, that when you went into this, you already had the truth and you was looking for someone to confirm the truth that you personally embraced, but it doesn't mean that it was the truth. And that's the reason why the truth is painful. That's the reason why the Bible says in Galatians 4, 16, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth because truth is not really, truly, ready, acceptable. Christians get offended me all the time, yet they cannot do nothing about the answers that I give them because I give them the truth. And because I gave them the truth, they chose to become my enemy. No longer listen to me because change is painful. And truth requires change. And we all need change in our lives. I'm sorry, we're not the epitome of truth in any way, shape, fashion, or form. Zero, zilch, nada at all. <sighs> at least I didn't toy around and play around with your feelings and emotions. At least I did try to do something to recover you from this false image that we have all 
developed up here in our minds. I done whatever I could to try to wake you up out of the matrix. I done whatever I could to try to stimulate you and get you to start, at least put a defibrillator on your mind to get you to start thinking for once in your life. Maybe you have the ears to hear what I'm trying to say and maybe you don't. But if you get offended, it's none of my business. It's between you and the Father. Um, I hope that I've said something to get you to really truly think. Think about this. Just because you ask a question, are you really truly getting the answer or are you seeking for the answer you want to justify your behavior and what you believe? Do you really truly want the truth? Do you? Think about it. Do you really truly want the truth? And when the truth comes, can you handle it? I have found in this short period of time I've been living on this earth and Pastor Dow is close to 50. Um, I have found that people don't want the truth. They want to live in a land of make-believe and fairy tales because the truth is too painful because it always requires change. Are you a hypocrite? That's the real true answer. Rather, That's the real true question. Rather than asking ourselves and rather than putting forth the finger with everybody else and, and calling them hypocrites and, and, and stage players and, and grandstanders, we really truly need to start looking in the mirror and asking our own self that same question. You know, think about this. If I get on here and I teach these principles and I teach these things to you, wouldn't something or shouldn't something enter into your mind? Chances are it won't unless, you know, thought words are given to stimulate it. But shouldn't something enter into your mind and say, you know what? If this man is teaching these principles, if he's teaching us this way, chances are he's probably already done come to this conclusion some time ago. And that's what most people forget. Or matter of fact, you can't, how can you forget something that you never even learned. Because to forget is implying that you have already knew the information before. But if you didn't know the information before, how can you forget? Anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to keep playing with the minds. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, I know thinking is very painful. Uh, but yet, if we do not think, we're going to repeat the same mistakes of the past. And I promise you, uh, you continue to keep repeating mistakes. Um, they have a way of dragging your spirit down, bringing on depression, and it hurts. It really, truly do. Um, and then your mind starts to be shaped, and it starts starts forming, and it starts conforming. Um, and unless this world is functioning after what you have already believed, there's no happiness, and there's no true peace in it because you have deceived yourself. I don't blame people for not wanting to hear a word I have to say. None but the righteous will, though. Only a few will, but it's too painful because, see, this type of speech and this type of talk doesn't come from secular humanism. You're not going to find it written in some book of philosophy or theology because it comes straight from the spirit of truth. Do you have a question? I have an answer.